uh, can you see the background clearly the three states it's visible right okay audio video is okay no i cannot see the background aditya says he cannot see the background can you all see yes you all see the background yeah the three states right waking dreaming deep sleep avanti yes okay okay those who feel they didn't get enough time for sending the self evaluation for the first 15 verses you can also send it to me after the session is over avanti let's keep the session on for the gurukul students at least after i finish today's session keep it on for at least 30 to 40 minutes so they can stay online and write their self evaluation and send it to me okay okay mandatory for gurukul students to stay online and complete the self evaluation those who are not in gurukul you can find all details of how to join gurukul on the website you can see all that later yeah start attending sessions regularly and you can then join gurukul later okay yeah. now let's focus on ashtavakra samhita now we move to verse number 16 This is the first verse of today's session. Please remember, I have completed the first fifteen verses in detail. Those videos are available online on the website as well as on YouTube. Uh, some videos are still in editing. Please give volunteers some time to upload those. Yeah. At least you begin from the beginning if you have missed all the verses in detail. So now. each verse gets about 40 minutes to 1 hour yeah i'll give you a break after the verse so do not get up in the middle hopefully everyone took a restroom break right now when i gave a break so we move on to verse 16 vayava vyaptam idam vishvam dvai prutam yathartath shuddha buddha swarupastvam In reality, this world is pervaded by you. It is strung out of you. It is sewn in you. It is embroidered in you. Yeah, can be translated in different ways. your nature is pure knowledge so don't resort to the petty mindedness of thinking i am the person this is the translation now we will understand this in our inner seeing in our experiential seeing those who have been practicing swapna nidra nyan sadhana they have seen this in their experiential seeing janaka has seen it too yeah so you be very attentive and carefully self evaluate do i see this experientially tvaya vyaptam idam vishvam you pervade everything all of it means what ashtavakra says to janaka you have already recognized you are the witness of this waking person and this waking world so take a step beyond the person right now that is listening to ekta do you recognize you are the witness of that person yes do you recognize the hand is moving automatically notes are getting written automatically you are simply witnessing the person make the notes yeah when this becomes clear oh i am not the doer i just jump in and claim ownership and say oh i am making notes yeah, so ashtavakra tells janaka see you recognize this yes 
Now extend this to the waking world. Aren't you the witness of the waking world and not the experiencer? What is the difference? In experiencer, I become a part of this world and there is this big fight between the world and me. All the swords and shields come out and there is this I versus you battle going on. Yeah, That is the experiencer level. But at the witness level, I recognize even in the most dramatic situation where this person is involved in an argument, I am standing beyond and knowing what is happening. I am not in control. It is automatically going on. As if it, it has some, oh, some, as if it's on autopilot, like a, a machinery that is just functioning on its own. You want to stop this person from getting angry and you just cannot. You're standing behind helplessly. Yeah. Or in the other scenario, you want this person to stop being so passionate in this situation and you just cannot. You're simply witnessing what is happening. So aren't you the witness of both the person and the waking world? You get these glimpses, but then in happy times you jump into the body mind of the person and say, ah, I am this person, I am Ekta, I am teaching right now. No, this is a false idea. It is lies. Right now I am this witnessing awareness field that is knowing what this body-mind person labelled as Ekta is saying, I am knowing at the same time that the world of Ekta is knowing it. It is false if I say I knew it before. It is a lie. Yeah. Recognizing this truth, oh yeah, I claim ownership of the action in retrospect. Actually, I am simply a witness to the waking world and this waking person. Janaka recognizes this. Do you recognize it? Yeah. Then he says, you recognize you are the witness of the dream person and the dream world. Yeah. So many times you recognize, oh, I am dreaming. I am not the one running away from the tiger. Yes, what have you recognized? You recognize, I am the witness of the dream person. I am not the dream person. And that moment the dream collapses. Yes. So you know this. This is your own inner seeing. I am the witness of the dream world. I am the witness of the dream person as well. Third point, you have recognized that you are the witness of the absence of the waking person and dream person. That is why when somebody asks you what was there in deep sleep, you said there was nothing. There was nobody. What do you mean by nothing? What do you mean by nobody? It means the waking person and the dream person were not there. That is the meaning of nobody. The waking world and the dream world were not there. That is the meaning of no thing. You see this? You recognize it. Ask a kid what was there in your deep sleep. The kid will say there was nothing mama. As a kid you knew this answer. Yeah? You are the witness of the deep sleep darkness too. This means you are beyond the three worlds. You are beyond waking, dreaming and deep sleep. You are the witnessing awareness. You only project these three worlds, the waking, dreaming and deep sleep. You project the worlds and you perceive the same world. That is the meaning of Tvai Protam Yathartatha. It is all sewn in you, embroidered in you, strung out in you. Means it is all your own projection. What would your projection be made of? Wouldn't your projection be made of you? 
what is the uh, projection of the sun made of isn't it made of the same stuff as the sun sunlight yeah what is the projection of the ocean made of waves isn't wave the same thing as the ocean yeah what would your projection be made of you if you are this invisible but alive and conscious nothingness and nobodyness then what you have projected this body mind person which you think is made of matter this world that you think is made of matter and has its own independent existence what is this really made of oh it's my projection it's made of me and i am nothingness and nobodyness so this is nothingness and nobody there is no person here there is no person here there is no thing here it is only an idea it is only knowledge shuddha buddha swarupastvam the first part of the second line of the shloka shuddha buddha swarupastvam what is your swarupa swarupa is my inner true nature what is my inner true nature who am i what am i let us dive deeper into this question who am i right now you put your pens down notebooks down you can make this notes later right now who am i if the intellect still says okay i am this person okay doesn't matter what is this person is it the subject or the object do you recognize there is a separate subject that is knowing the person if i am knowing the person i have to be separate from the person no this is an object i am knowing the object which is the subject which is the object i am the subject this is the object i am the knower this is the known correct yeah so knower is separate from the known now come back to this person that you think you are yeah do you know where is the head do you know where where are the toes yeah do you know where is the torso do you know where are the legs who's knowing who's knowing and isn't the knower separate from that which is known if i think i am this head this torso these legs these toes then who is knowing either i have to be the knower or i have to be the known i cannot be both ah if i am knowing i am separate from this person it's so easy to see oh shuddha buddha i am just the one knowing in fact i am knowledge itself yeah even if you don't get i am knowledge itself at least you are getting i am the knower i am just knowing buddha yeah pure knowingness feel so now what is this waking state made up of look around at your room what is this waking state made up of isn't it the knowingness field that you just discovered you are plus the waking person plus the waking world knowingness field plus the waking person plus the waking world this is what is the waking state correct now look at the dream what is the dream made of of same knowing field knowingness field and a dream person and a dream world and what is deep sleep state made up of same knowingness field minus the waking person minus the dream person minus the waking world 
minus the dream world. So what was there finally? The knowingness field was there. I am there. That is why I come out so confidently and say there was nothing there. Yes. So what are you? Who are you? Are you the nothingness or are you the one that is aware of the nothingness? Yeah, you will see from your direct experience that nothingness was just a stepping stone. Ashtavakra, Adi Shankaracharya, Buddha. They're just using this word nothingness as a stepping stone to make me realize, oh. I am the one that is aware of nothingness. I am pure awareness itself. And that awareness is made of no thing that I can point out to. Yeah? I cannot point out to the knower. Yes, I can point out to the known, but I cannot point out to the knower. Question for you, do you see this in your Swapna, Nidra, Nyan, Sadhana? Okay, what is awareness made up of? Yeah, we are going deeper into the part Shuddha Buddha Swarupastvam. What is awareness made up of? Can you touch awareness? Can you taste awareness? Can you smell it? Can you hear it? Can you see awareness? No, it is not made of matter. Then what is awareness made up of? Let's look at it through our own experiential scene. What is your deep sleep darkness made up of? I ask you, how did you sleep last night? Oh, I had deep sleep, sound sleep. As very much at peace. What is it made up of? The first answer is there is nothing. When you are encouraged to uh, describe that no thingness, you answer, oh, it was just simply peace, it was simply happiness, was simply well restful, very rested I am. Yeah? In summary, what are, you as, what are you saying? Number one, I was aware that I was. I was aware that I was. This is the quality of beingness, B-E-I-N-G-N-E-S-S, -S, beingness, Sat. I was aware that I was. I was there in the deep sleep state. Yeah, that's why I'm saying so confidently that there was nothing. That means number one, I was aware that I was. This is what you're implying. I am Sat, beingness. Two, I was aware that I was aware of the nothingness. That's why I answer, oh, there's nothing there. Yeah, that means this is a con the quality of consciousness or knowingness, chid. Yeah. And number three, I was aware that I am happy and restful. That's why I describe nothingness as, oh, I was very happy, very rested, well rested, at peace. Yeah, this is the quality of being blissful, ananda. That bliss which is devoid of both the excitement of happiness and the depression of sadness. It is, these opposites are not there. That is ananda. Yeah, that is what I call peace. Yeah. So what are the three things that I am implying? I was aware that I was. I was aware that I was aware. And I was aware that I was happy and peaceful. 
इन योर ओन डिरेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस इन योर ओन डेली स्वप्न निद्र ज्ञान साधना यू रेकग्नाइज दैट यू आर सच्चिदानंद सत्चित आनंद सच्चिदानंद बीइंगनेस नोइंगनेस एंड ब्लिस Next question to ask yourself: Have I recognized this in my swapna nidra nyan sadhana? Do I see that I am satchidananda? you recognize that when you rest in your own glory that is called the deep sleep state the waking world is not there the waking person is not there so ekta is not there but i am there that's why so confidently in the morning when asked a question ekta can bring up that memory of being at peace if she was not there how does she bring up that memory If the body is not there, if the mind is not there, then what is there? Oh, I am this knowingness, this which is knowing. Ekta, speak right now. I am that, and that is always there in the deep sleep state. I am resting in my own glory, devoid of the drama of the waking person, devoid of the drama of the dream person. I am a nobody. that is why i am at peace the drama is because of the waking person and the waking world the drama is because of the dream person and the dream world when all these are not there there is absolute peace and i know that peace i taste it every night i know it as my own personal experience ekta doesn't have to tell me ashtavakra does not have to tell me i recognize that i am there yes. write down the next homework do i recognize this that i rest in my own glory and that is what i have called the dreams the deep sleep state now take your memory back to the deep sleep state yeah for some of you it is still morning early morning time so it's a fresh memory yeah attempt to remember coming out of that no thingness and nobodyness and that first dream that you have take a moment to remember do you recognize that you arise out of the deep sleep darkness and first project a thought world it's only in thoughts and as a thought person which you label as yourself that thought has to be made of the same thing that it came out of no what did it come out of the deep sleep no thingness So that thought, that thought, which came out of the deep sleep, no thingness. Whatever the dream was, the content of the dream is not important. Look at what is it made up of. Oh, it has to be made up of what it came out from. It is made of simply the same awareness. From the dream state, the same thing is projected to the waking state. the waking state 
projection is just a better and improved version of the dream state projection. Do you recognize this? This waking state projection has a longer battery life. It's plugged into the wall maybe. Strong, clear, crisp pictures, not blurry like the dream. The dream was like battery dying, battery dying, battery dying. Suddenly you wake up, you plug it into the power. And there, all crisp, clear. That is the waking state. It is the same projection that has come from the dream state. Dream has been projected from the same material out of which deep sleep is made up of. We just recognize in deep sleep, I am resting in my own glory. I am that nothingness, the nobodiness. Not the waker, not the dreamer. The nothingness, not the waking world, not the dream world. Simply awareness, consciousness, alive because it's not a dead nothingness. It's alive and conscious. That is why it has that memory when it comes out, when projected to the waking world, that I was there. Yeah? And there was nothing there. I had a restful sleep. So from the dream state, I project the waking state. The waking state projection is a better and improved version of the dream state. It is not different. Just images are crisper, stronger, look more real. But what is it made up of? Yeah, now dive deeper. Do you have some object? Maybe you have your pen, pencil, book. Hold it, hold an object that you so strongly claim is made of matter. Yeah, any object doesn't matter. Hold the object. Yeah, keep it in your hand. I will take you through a process of self-inquiry questions. You do it with all the different objects and you need something in your hand also at the same time. So now dive deeper into the so-called world made of matter. Is there a line demarcating where the sound of Ekta's words end and your knowingness field begins? Can you draw a line? This is where Ekta's words end and this is where I, the knowing, this field begin, I the awareness field begin. So what does this mean? Is there a difference between sound and knowingness of the sound? Is there a difference between sound and the awareness of the sound? Yeah. Is there a difference between sound and the witness of the sound? Can you draw a line? This is where the witness is ending. Then this is where the hearer, which is labeled as ekta, begins. And then this is where the words coming in. This is where the line is demarcating the sound. Can you draw these lines? What does this mean? This is all one. There is no two here. There is no two. Everything is knowingness, knowledge. Yeah. Now you are touching your object. Is there a line demarcating where the object ends and the touch begins? Can you demarcate a line? Are you saying you are intellectually trying to draw a line, but there is none in your experience? Intellect says something else. Experience says it's disappearing. There is no line. Again, intellect says, no, no, see, there is a line there. Yeah, I can see it. And again, experience is saying, no, all I can recognize is sensations. Just the sensations of touch, whatever it is. If it's a hard object, it's... Uh, hard sensation, it's a soft object, there's a soft sensation. There is only sensation. That's what experience tells you. Intellect tells you, no, there is a line. 
close your eyes then if there is this war going on close your eyes and see doesn't the war dissolve and there is only sensation left can you draw a line where the sensation ends and where the object begins can you draw a line where the sensation ends and the witness begins the one who is witnessing the sensation buff it will become clear oh there is just a oneness there's simply knowingness there's simply knowledge there is no two sensations is knowingness it is not two separate things only the intellect is seeing this from the past conditioning if you had not gone to school not gone to a college if you were a jungle boy or a jungle girl didn't even know the words object sensations witness would you ever see it as three separate things three separate entities no no this is all the product of learning yes so on this path you have to unlearn a lot of things and just see what my direct experience tells me not what my intellectual memorization tells me if i get alzheimers and forget everything i have a big amnesia or memory loss i won't remember this is called object this is called sensation this is called witness i'll still be the same body mind person yes but there will not be all these labels oh these are all labels ashtavakra said in the last one shun drop drop labels drop labels can i go with direct experience yeah. so you can experiment later with taste when you eat your food are you able to demarcate the line <coughs> where the taste ends the flavor ends and the tongue begins then can you demarcate a line <coughs> where the tongue ends and the witness of the taste begins and you will see oh there are no three it is all one there is simply knowledge take this as homework for today during lunch time or dinner time yeah. and keep experimenting if it's still not clear keep experimenting this cannot be understood in 5 minutes yeah if you want to spend more time with me experimenting please come to a 10 day retreat we give a lot of time to experimenting these just these five experiments of sight sound smell taste touch we experiment for 1 to 2 days continuously Yeah, so if you are not able to manage at home, come for a retreat. But I cannot give so much time in an online session like this. But this needs to be experimented on repeatedly, and you need to come to that point where you drop intellectual labels and only go with your own direct experience, not with what Ekta is saying. Never ever. Yeah, Ekta does not propagate blind belief. i smash it down with the sword of knowledge again and again no blind belief you have to experientially see it and if you are having a problem doing it on your own at home come for a retreat yeah next experiment you do on your own some flower in your garden go sit with it something that you really like smelling is there a line demarcating where the smell ends and the flower begins is there a line demarcating where the nose ends and the smell begins is there a line demarcating where the smell ends and the witness begins you will not be able to find any such line in your direct experience you'll be able to find in your intellectual analysis from education 
again and again remind yourself to go back to either an amnesia state or when you were a little child that was not colored by conditioning or to the jungle boy or jungle girl state and you will be able to drop the labels and just go with direct experience direct experience is the path to move ahead yeah then last when you're done with your sound smell taste and touch then you start experimenting with sight yeah it's the hardest that is why it is done last can i see can i recognize where sight ends can i draw a line this is where sight ends and the witnessing of the sight begins yeah on a deeper dive it is recognized that everything is just one there is only awareness there is no proof in my direct experience there is no proof of the existence of matter this waking state is simply a projection made of awareness the same awareness that was there in the dream state the same awareness that is there in the deep sleep state yeah so those who are practicing swapna nidra nyan sadhana write down the question do i see this in my swapna nidra nyan sadhana practice have i crossed this major milestone that in my direct experience i do not have the proof of the existence of matter in my in my intellectual analysis of course i can bring up a zillion things i'm talking about direct experiential recognition my own inner seeing yeah in my inner seeing have i crossed this major milestone if you have then pat yourself on the back yeah. now you will experientially recognize the truth of this verse tvaya vyaptam idam sarvam this entire vishwa this entire world is pervaded by you it is sown in you it is strung out in you tvai prutam yathartatham you are the thread by which this fabric of this world is made and world means all three ha huh? waking dreaming and deep sleep all three come in this world you are the thread or the fabric by which this vishwa this world is sewn or embroidered or strung together with it's a poetic way to say it just like space pervades this waking state you the awareness are pervading the entire vishwa waking dreaming and deep sleep vishwa in the third line ashtavakra pokes janaka he says wake up and see that your nature is shuddha buddha your nature is pure knowledge so don't resort to a lowly understanding a petty understanding that i am this person i am awareness i am not this person so then what is this person and what is this world really this is only knowledge only idea it is an idea that has arisen this idea lasts for a longer time that is why i feel it is real that is why i feel it is real just because of its duration i don't feel that the dream person or the dream world is real why because the duration is so short it's so short just the duration of this world makes me feel that this world is real what is this world projection if the world is made of awareness means it does not really exist as a world object it is only knowledge of a world it is not the world is this clear it is only knowledge of the world it is not the world what is this person projection 
I feel so strongly. I am Ekta. I am the Advaita teacher. I am the wife. I am the good friend. This I, I, I. What is this person? What is this person proje projection really? Isn't it really made of awareness? If the person is made of awareness, means that the person does not really exist as an object. It is only knowledge. There is no person. There is only the knowledge of the person. And this knowledge also only lasts 16-18 hours. Huh? At the end of 16 hours, boof, this knowledge vanishes. So dive deeper into the self-inquiry of this verse. What is the meaning of I am the all-pervading awareness? Experiment with yourself. Look around your room right now, wherever you are. Can you spot even one single inch, one single centimeter of space or one single centimeter of spot where you can say that this is devoid of awareness? Can you find one spot in your waking universe devoid of awareness? No, not possible, not possible. You will never be able to say, oh, this spot in this waking universe is outside my awareness. It is outside my knowingness. Not possible. The intellect will say, yes, yes, I don't know what's happening in Paris, France. Yeah, So that is outside my awareness right now. Think again. Is there any proof of a physical city called Paris existing in the now? Do you have any proof of a physical city called Paris existing in the now? No, only the idea of a Paris, France exists in the now. Only the memory of a Paris, France exists in the now. This is called direct experience. Yeah? Both idea and memory are simply thought. Only the thought of Paris is there in the now. The thought is well within the field of awareness. So the thought of Paris is within my field of awareness. Whether the physical Paris exists or not, I do not have proof of because it is not in the now. It is not in my direct experience of the now. Unless you are watching this from Paris, France. <laughs> yeah, then you take New York, USA as your experiment example. It is only memory filling up gaps of nothingness in the inner seeing. Are you seeing moment to moment everything disappears? Yeah, there is a nothingness again and again and again. There is a perception of sight and a nothingness, perception of sound and a nothingness, perception of taste and nothingness. Memory does not like, the mind does not like the idea of gaps in perception, sensation, thought and feeling. So what does the mind do? It fills up these gaps with intellect. Yeah. That's all that really is. Only the memory of Paris, France exists right now. And that memory is well within my awareness. Nothing that I can perceive, sense, feel or think about can be outside my awareness field. Right? Is perception of sight, sound, smell, taste, touch within my awareness field? Yes. 
is the thought of sight, sound, smell, taste, touch within my perception field, within my awareness field? Is any feeling evoked by sight, sound, smell, taste, touch in my awareness field? Is any sensation evoked by sight, sound, smell, taste, touch in my awareness field? Yes, everything is in my awareness field. There is no outside. So what is the meaning of my awareness? Is there a defining border? Is awareness a personal property? Can I say this is my awareness and that is your awareness? And your awareness is not my awareness. Your consciousness is not my consciousness. Can I say that? Are you able to locate a not my awareness? Dive deeper into this exploration today. There is nothing in this waking universe that is outside of me, the awareness. I am the awareness. There is no question of my awareness. I am that same witnessing field of nothingness that was there in the deep sleep, that was projected as an idea in the dream that is extended to the waking. It is all me, awareness. There is nothing outside me, the awareness. Maya vyaptam idam sarvam. All is pervaded by me. Mai prottham yathartata. All is made of me, really. Shuddha buddha swarupa. I am Shuddha buddha. I am pure knowingness. That is my Swarupa. That is my nature. Magama Shudra Chittata. Let me not resort to petty ignorance that I am this person. This means there is only knowledge. There is no world. There is no person. There is no waking state. The waking state is knowledge. The waking body mind is knowledge. The waking world is knowledge. Waking perceptions of sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, all knowledge. Waking objects, Eiffel Tower is only knowledge. Your home, your family, your friends, your beloved, your enemy, your belongings, your gadgets, your money in the bank, only knowledge. One, because I do not have proof of the existence of anything made of matter outside my awareness field. And two, because all of it is limited only to the waking state. Only to the waking state. And I see in my direct experience that I am beyond all three states. I am beyond all these three. So don't be of a Shudra Chitta. Shudra Chitta is basically spiritual IQ. It's not condemning somebody. Spiritual IQ has got nothing to do with this waking uh, body, mind, person's IQ. Yeah? Spiritual IQ, spiritual quotient means simply a mature dispassion that happens towards this person and this world. Only when that dispassion arises, do you want to be free of this person. Then only can you come to Janaka's level because his question is, I want to be free, I want to be mukta. Yeah, Free of what? Free of this person. Yeah. So he says, stop going back to that low spiritual IQ. That is Shudra Chitta, small minded, petty minded. And then you will again go back to your narrow opinion, your narrow outlook, rigid opinions. And when you get stuck with a fixed idea, you hold on to the idea so strong, I am this body mind person. And then then Ashtavakra Samhita is not for you. Then maybe try Bhagavad Gita. Next year come to Ashtavakra. 
Yeah. Recognize that you are simply the one knowing the person. You are not the person. You are the all-pervading knowingness. You are not this person. So last homework from this verse. Do I have a clear recognition that I am the all-pervading knowingness and not the person? Has my spiritual quotient risen to the level of Janaka? Okay. We'll take a five minute break. Please evaluate yourself on the four questions that I gave you. The Gurukul students must send me the answers to those four questions. The others, if you feel like sending, please feel free to send. Take a five minutes break, write down your self-evaluation and then we'll go to verse number 17. 